Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence and soon to be published novel I Am Mercy. And it is 9 o'clock at night and I just finished working about like an hour or so ago, sort of. Not really because I had to go shopping. The point is I've had a very long day and I've, I haven't stopped moving and since I haven't bothered to get undressed yet and into my PJs, I figure I would do my June wrap up for what I've read. Now this month I read five books and um, I would normally say that's like not a lot because it's like a little bit more than one book a week but you know what I've come to terms with the fact that my life is busy right now and five books is a lot of books plus they were kind of big books some of them so I'm happy <laughs> first book I read was Bone Man's Daughter by Ted Decker this I bought at a library sale I didn't know anything about it I just knew it was like a sort of thriller and murder mystery thing it's about a guy who kinda you know kills people by breaking every bone in their body but without breaking the skin that probably sounds really gross and he's in the search to find the perfect daughter and when they're not perfect he just kinda you know kills them but there's more to it um because I have short term memory I can't really remember what it was fully about but that's the gist of it but it also has a father who doesn't have the best relationship with his daughter and his ex-wife and she is the one who ends up being kidnapped later and he kind of goes to save her and becomes desperate and people actually think he's the murderer and not the guy who's actually trying to murder her that sort of thing it's really good next thing i read was talk like ted the nine public speaking secrets of the world's top minds by cameron gallo as you can see i dog-eared a few things and highlighted if you can see them anyways i read this because i'm trying to do public speaking in the future and i actually already have some things maybe sort of lined up to do that but this just kind of walks through it I thought it was really good. I don't recommend it if you aren't experienced with public speaking at all. It's kind of for someone who has a little bit of a background but wants to get better. It worked out for me because I have done public speaking before, but if you're brandy dandy new, I would probably start somewhere else and then read this. Next thing I read is Four by Veronica Roth. I've been meaning to read this for a long time and I've owned it since Christmas. It's short stories from Four's point of view. It takes place before Divergent you know happens with Tris and all that and some of it takes place during so it was kind of cool I'm not necessarily sure if I would call it like entertaining and a huge thing it was more just like oh that's kind of a cool background story that I didn't know about next up we have I was here by Gail Foreman and I actually really really like this book this was about a girl and her best friend commit suicide and her best friend had moved away to college and when that happened they just kind of drifted apart and then all of a sudden her best friend commits suicide and she doesn't know why because she always seemed like this happy person so she kind of goes on this investigation to figure out what happened so she visits the college town and all that I thought it was really cool and the different twists and turns that the story took and I believe I gave it like four out of five stars I really liked it it wasn't like the wow factor a five star book has so I gave it the full. Last but not least we have The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider I think that's how you say it Anyways, I've heard a lot of good things about this book. I'm not really sure how to summarize the storyline, but I'll give it a shot. It's about this popular kid. He's just like captain of the tennis team and all this, and he's like the guy in the school. And he gets into a car accident. Basically, he's told he can never play sports again. Like, that's just how crippled he is. And then he meets this girl who, you know, kind of helps him realize he doesn't need to be popular and realizes that his popular friends weren't really his friends that sort of thing and one I love the storytelling technique first of all it starts off by telling how this kid was decapitated on a Disneyland ride which is why we see the roller coaster on the front I thought that was one kinda nasty too but a really good way to catch your attention that's Everything the writing was, it caught your attention, really kind of made you want to keep reading. There's nothing like super thrilling about the story or anything really spectacular about it. Uh, towards the end, there were some really good plot twists that I didn't see coming, but I'm also not good at seeing plot twists. So I really liked it for that reason. The only complaint I have is that sometimes the writing just seemed eh, a little off, almost out of place. But that might have been just me because I was reading it at a very busy time so I'd read it and then have to go do something and then come back to it. 
So that might just be me. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. Very close to 5 stars though. So that's everything I read this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've read any of these books, please let me know your opinion on them down below. Or just tell me about the book that you read, even if I haven't read it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Mm -hmm.